What's in your puppy's vaccines? Which ones do they have to get and which ones are on a case-to-case basis? How will I know if my dog is protected against those diseases? That's what we'll talk about today. Core vaccines are required for all dogs to receive. They protect against canine distemper virus, canine parvovirus 2, and canine adenovirus, which are life-threatening diseases of worldwide distribution. And in places where rabies is endemic, rabies vaccination is also core. Non-core vaccines are required only for dogs at higher risk of encountering the diseases they protect against, like canine parainfluenza virus, Bordetella bronchiseptica, Borrelia burgdorferi, Leptospira interrogans, and canine influenza virus. Your dog may be considered higher risk depending on the geographical location and prevalence of the disease, the local environment of the dog, and the dog's lifestyle. For example, if you live in a place where Leptospira is prevalent, and slash or your dog's lifestyle exposes them to urine of unknown origin where the pathogen may be, then they would need to be vaccinated against Leptospira interrogants. And of course, the creation of newer and better vaccines are always being researched. Those may fall under not recommended vaccines until sufficient evidence warrants their use. In the last video, we talked about how the puppy's maternal antibodies affect vaccination. To give a very quick summary, Newborns get antibodies from their mom. The maternal antibodies interfere with the puppy's response to vaccination. Thus, vaccination starts at 6 to 8 weeks old, then every 3 to 4 weeks until 16 weeks old. The vaccines given in this initial series are the core vaccines, definitely, and some select non-core vaccines. Vaccine preparations can contain multiple vaccines that protect against multiple diseases. For example, the 5-in-1 vaccine contains canine distemper, infectious canine hepatitis, leptospira interrogans, canine parvovirus 2, and canine parainfluenza. D-H-L-P-P-I The rabies vaccine is separate and can be given at 12 to 16 weeks old. After the initial series of vaccinations, your puppy may receive a booster shot a year later or at one year old. Some clinics call this a birthday shot. The word booster is in quotes because the shot doesn't necessarily boost the immune response. They're given to make sure that in case the puppy failed to respond to the initial series, they can respond to this one. It also coincides with the puppy's first annual health check. Some clinics choose to give booster shots at 6 months old instead of 1 year too. After the booster shot, depending on the vaccine datasheet and local laws, your pup's next shot will be given a year or 3 years later. This is based on the Minimum Duration of Immunity, or DOI. Minimum meaning that dogs can maintain immunity for longer than this, too. So, wait. Does that mean my dog might not need to be revaccinated because they're still protected years after, you might be wondering? Well, yeah. And some clinics offer an alternative to revaccination by serological testing. If your dog gets a positive result, that means that they have sufficient protective antibodies and that revaccination is not needed. If your dog gets a negative result, that means that little to no antibodies remain and they would need to get revaccinated. Checking to see if your dog needs revaccination is better than simply giving the booster shot. But unfortunately, testing does usually cost more than one dose of the vaccine, which is partially why it's not widely adopted. To recap, in this video we talked about the core, non-core, and not recommended vaccines of dogs the booster shots given after the initial vaccination series, and how to tell if your dog is still protected or if they require revaccination. A lot of dog stuff. I'll make a video like this for cats soon too.